you know, separating the policy from the actual filibuster, uh, you know, some very strong deal points on policy. He's talking about making elections a national holiday. Uh, he, he's talking about having pretty much no excuse absentee voting, 15 days of early voting, uh, not just voter ID, but multiple alternatives uh, for people to, to vote with the utility bill, for instance. Uh, and, and really, one thing that I found fascinating, he also has a provision that says if you run for president of the United States or if you are president of the United States, you have to disclose your income taxes. Uh, and, and so... There's, Does any of that have a shot of passing, though? Because you need at least 60 Republicans right now, unless the filibuster goes away, then it's 55, and, and the Senate still split 50-50. And I think, you know, in those conversations, as they're moving, I think it's sort of one piece at a time, one step at a time. Uh, two days ago, Senator Manchin didn't want anything to do with S-1. Now he's on board with S-1. Uh, 